So I wanted to do a video review on something that I've wanted for quite a while and haven't been able to get hold of by now. Here's of course Needle. This is a replica of Needle from Game of Thrones. This is a replica from the TV series and not the books. There is a replica of the sword from the books that you can also buy. But I wanted the one from the TV show. So this is the packaging. Uh, just a straightforward picture of Needle on the front with the Iron Throne in the back. Turn it over. On the back we have a little bit just about Arya Stark. So if you don't know much about Arya Stark, um, if you're watching this video I assume that you would. But um, just in case you don't, there's a little bit of background on her there. We have the sword details, so we have the overall length and the blade length. As you can see, it's very small compared to most swords. And then we have the materials, stainless steel, with antique brass pommel and guard, with dark textured leather wrapped wood core handle, and then silk screened wood with stark sigil for the plaque, as you can see there. So, uh, Open this box. So this front sleeve just slides off. Uh, it's a lot harder to do and with a camera in my hand, so I'll be back shortly. So here's the polythene box from inside. Now I've just cut the tape so we can open it up. Also, um, which I haven't shown, inside the box as well, we do have a certificate of authenticity. So again, it's the same um, blurb that's on the back of the box. And there's nothing on the other side, so it's always nice to have. Anyway, here's the sword itself. And you can see it's very small, and it's hard to see. Maybe on camera just how small, but I will compare it to another sword very soon. And you can see how thin the blade is. Of course, that's the whole beauty of a needle. It's a very long, thin and sharp sword used for stabbing people rather than slicing them. Certainly wouldn't win many sword fights against bigger swords with this. It is um, slightly smaller than I, even I anticipated. So here we have um, the mountain screws as well. And the plaque, I would assume is in the box. Underneath, but the bell got a bit of in a bit. So here's the sword. I will unwrap the sword and the plaque, and then I'll be back. Okay, so here is the sword. So yeah, I have one thing with it that I'm slightly disappointed about. Um, it's just not sharp at all. I know it's only a replica sword, but sometimes. Some of them at least have a little bit of a point to a blade. Of course, needle is known for being really sharp, pointy at the end. Obviously, for safety reasons, this one won't be as sharp as it's meant to be, but I thought it'd have a little bit more pointiness to it. And the actual blade itself along the sides is like, you know, I'm running my fingers along it. It's just, it is smooth. It's like, it's like running your hand on the back of a butter knife. Like not even the blade side, like the other side. It is that smooth. So, yeah, um, I have a few replica swords and I wouldn't run my fingers down some of them, even the ones that aren't that sharp, but this is like definitely the bluntest of all the swords I own. So, size wise, I have got another sword here. This is just a standard size sword. Yeah, this is a sword from. Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon, for those who may not be aware, you can see the size difference there between that sword and needle. This is a typical sword size as well, obviously um, long swords would be even bigger than this. So you can see that's quite a quite a difference in side size and I'll get the blade out so we can see the blade width difference. So the difference in width is even more telling than it is in the length. Uh, the difference is 
quite something. And if you look at the end, you can see on the camera, like the end of the sword is a lot pointier than it is on the needle. Like, you know, it's not, I'm never going to cut myself on it, but you can feel like there is some point there. And the blade, whilst not sharp, is definitely, you can definitely feel the difference. That said, um, still a very nice sword, it's one I've always wanted for a long time, it seems pretty well made. Pick it up, yeah it seems pretty solid. Lovely feel to the handle actually, really nice. Yeah, really um, really nice display piece, certainly, and I'm sure I'll be mounting that on the plaque, which segues nicely to the actual plaque itself. So what you expect really, just a wooden plaque. Got the House Stark sigil on it. Uh, yeah, it's quite nice, solid, just as you expect having these plaques to be. So yeah, um, really nice. Certainly, will be a nice display piece. I look forward to mounting it on the wall. So I only have a couple of minutes left for battery life on my camera, so I'll wrap this up very quick. But I just want to do a short review on needle. Show it off to you guys. Um, I've always struggled to actually purchase one. For a while, but I did find a site in in this country that's actually selling them, and I will put a link to it in the description for anyone who wants it. And um, price-wise, it was quite expensive for what it was. Um, some replica swords are a lot cheaper. However, um, I don't mind paying the price for for a sword that I've wanted for such a long time. So, and um, maybe for a sword this size, it might feel a bit expensive, but Sometimes, you know, if you really want something, you have to pay a bit extra for it, I suppose. But, no, it's going to be a lovely display piece. Um, saw that I've always liked and always wanted. And you don't see many of them about, so... That is Needle. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys again.